I was in my uh, first year of my engineering and uh, I used to like play around seven to eight hours of video game Valorant basically. And uh, so basically everything was online. Yeah. Then I got into second year of my engineering and uh, one of my friends, uh, he was the uh, facilitator of a program. So mm. the Google Cloud uh, Career Readiness Program. Now that I think uh, that has been renamed to uh, Career Launchpad Program. So he got me enrolled into that program. And uh, and you won't believe this. Uh, the time I was spending on playing the video game, the same I started spending on, you know, uh, exploring cloud. Hello, everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have Akilesh with me, who recently joined as a site reliability engineer, as a fresher in one of the organization. So in this podcast, we will try to understand from Akilesh, what is his journey? How did he get into the fresher role and are there opportunities for SRA engineers in the fresher role? So we will learn all of these in this podcast. So hi, Akilesh. Would you like to introduce yourself to our subscribers? Yeah. Hi, Abhishek. Good morning. I, I hope you're doing good. Yeah. Uh, so hi, hello, everyone. My name is Akilesh Nadgiri. I, uh, I'm a recent graduate. I just graduated two months back and uh, I completed my bachelor's of uh, engineering in uh, information technology from uh, PS Modern College of Engineering, uh, basically Pune University. And uh, I recently joined uh, as a junior site reliability engineer. Uh, I have been uh, like following Abhishek's and uh, many, many others who have, <clears throat> many others who have, who are there in this space for a long time. So yeah, uh, that's about me. Got it. So uh, can you explain like, how was your journey? Like during your college, were you doing an internship or uh, did you start directly with this fresher position? Yeah. All those things. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, this is going to be a crazy story. Uh, okay. So uh, I like uh, when uh, this thing started, uh, the COVID thing, I was in my uh, first year of my engineering and uh, I used to like play around seven to eight hours of video game Valorant basically. And uh, so basically everything was online. Yeah. Then I got into second year of my engineering and uh, one of my friends, uh, he was the uh, facilitator of a program. So mm. the Google Cloud uh, Career Readiness Program. Now that I think uh, that has been renamed to uh, Career Launchpad Program. So he got me enrolled into that program. And uh, and you won't believe this, uh, the time I was spending on playing the video game, the same I started spending on, you know, uh, exploring cloud and that stuff. Nice. So uh, I think there were around 800 or 900 students who had enrolled into that program for, from our college. But only me and one more guy, only we were, only we two were the guys who completed that program. And nice. then uh, after completing that program, we, you know, we uh, got into another program, which was for another five months. It was again uh, mentored by Google Cloud. So uh, we completed, uh, I, I think, a, a, a couple of uh, Coursera specializations in that program. So from there, I think uh, I got to know about like uh, what actually cloud computing is, what uh, the tools are related to DevOps and uh, not just tools, but you know how the methodologies, uh, DevOps methodologies are applied in real life. Sure. So so from, uh, I, I, I think uh, second year, I have been uh, focusing on cloud and DevOps. Then uh, even in third year, I uh, like got to, uh, you know, get my hands dirty on all those tools. Like I followed many of the, uh, I would say, hands-on projects. Then I also got familiar with medium blocks where, you know, the steps would be given. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we just have to repeat those. Then uh, at, uh, I think uh, in my seventh semester, that is uh, fourth year, I got an internship opportunity with a startup which is based in Pune. Uh, so, okay. uh, like I was working as a DevOps intern and uh, the... Idea was like, uh, it was at a very POC stage. So we were working on uh, building a monitoring tool, which mm. was uh, uh, like, we, uh, we used a Docker Compose, we used a Elk Stack, we used Kafka in that. And uh, over the period of six months, I think we uh, built that tool from scratch. Uh, we also like used Golang for the server implementation. So yeah, I mean, uh, but there I- uh, How yeah. did you get that internship opportunity? Because you were in your college, right? Did you get yeah. that through the community? Uh, no. So uh, the thing was that uh, 
for our final year project we wanted some kind of sponsorship or uh, like you know uh, mentorship from someone who is in the, uh, in this industry mm. so our idea was very uh, you know very clear that we want to build a monitoring tool so we pitched our idea to multiple you know people oh, so okay. one of them uh, you know they liked our idea and they offered us a six months uh, like internship. mentorship kind of internship program okay. and uh, that i think uh, i started in september 2023 and uh, this was until march of 2023 hmm. and uh, then i joined a uh, year where i'm working right now i joined uh, on 10th of september got it and yeah. this opportunity that you got okay yeah. you did an internship and then you went back to your college i think yeah. almost one year uh, you went back to the college right after uh, your... no, actually, huh. uh, I, uh, it was just uh, two months left for okay. my graduation when I completed it. Yeah. Okay. So you went back to the college for some time. And yeah. how did you get this uh, full-time opportunity? Yeah. So uh, this, uh, I think, uh, I like I don't remember when I had applied to this position. <laughs> okay. So you know that, uh, uh, like, we used to apply 100 to 200 yes. uh, organizations at a time. Yes. But I remember that I had applied on LinkedIn. And uh, within, I would say, within a few days, I managed to get here. Got it. So, yeah. were you applying to a lot of companies uh, when yeah. you came back to your college? Okay. Yeah. And how was the response? Like, you have a very good resume, right? You had internship yeah. and yeah, right. you were also doing some projects. So, yeah. was there good response that is coming back or how was it? Yeah, definitely. I would say there are opportunities. So if anyone who is uh, exploring to, you know, get into this space, there are opportunities. Uh, I also had around uh, two other offers, but uh, okay. yeah, so I just uh, chose this one because it aligned okay. to my career. Okay. Uh, Akilesh, one uh, quick question to, yeah. I mean, a lot of people who are watching this might also have this. So yeah, right. first thing is, how did communities play a role in your life? Because okay. you said you were taking part in different communities. And second yeah. thing is, if someone is interested, how can they enter that communities? You are in Pune. So yeah. probably you can tell in India how people can yeah. join these communities and how are they helpful to you? Yeah. Uh, so I think in Pune, there, uh, there are a lot of students and uh, there are a lot of student communities. So you have AWS community, you have Google Cloud community, you have... Uh, I think there is also a Docker community in Pune happening. Mm. So I would suggest, uh, you know, at least uh, these these communities have uh, once in a month events or once in a week events. Mm. So anyways, they are on Saturdays and Sundays. So people get, uh, people can, you know, they can uh, at least attend these events and, you know, they can get to know about uh, what people are actually doing, mm. right? So on week and anyways, they are on weekends. So, mm. you know, you can have uh, three to four hours of some good mentorship and uh, you can have, you can also have some good food in those <laughs> sessions. So, yeah, yeah I think uh, communities, they do uh, play a good role. So, yeah. Like how to get started if someone wants to enroll to yeah. a community? What is the process? Yeah. Uh, no, I think uh, it's pretty basic. Uh, you just had to meet up and uh, the, there's an app. So you can search for events which are happening uh, around you and uh, whichever, uh, you know, technology aligns your uh, goal. Mm -hmm. So you can just attend those meetups. You can, uh, you know, if there is some organiz uh, organizer who uh, who is at a very good level, so you can network with them. You can ask about like how they got into this space. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I also keep saying like wherever you are in whichever part of the world, there are these communities that are, you know very active so just right. join those communities you will also get that physical interaction like exactly you can meet with maybe x person who is working as sre in some company and you right. can just have a chat with them understand right. how their setup is what are the challenges that they face so right. you will get a great exposure right and akhilesh going back to your uh interview preparation or the projects yeah. so yeah. What kind of projects did you enjoy doing? And what are the projects that you have on your resume? Uh, I think uh, uh, most of my projects are based on AWS. Okay. Uh, so I've used tools like AWS, uh, EKS, hmm. ECS, and uh, Terraform. And uh, for the CICD part, I've explored tools like uh, Jenkins, 
GitHub Actions. I also right. have a good experience on uh, GitLab CI. Nice. So, and uh, for containerization, uh, of course, Docker. Then uh, I also had uh, one of my projects in which I had uh, implemented the uh, web server automation using Ansible. Mm. So I think uh, there are a lot of project ideas, which uh, of course you have given and many other yeah. uh, people have given. So yeah, these like, are some of the projects. Can you, can you tell me the Kubernetes project? Like what kind of project do you have on your resume? Uh, I think I followed that, uh, the Moonstack DevOpsified uh, project, which ah, okay. you and uh, Aman had uh, yeah. posted. Okay. So okay. I just made some tweaks in that. And, uh, uh, you know, so that is, I think, uh, one mega project, which yeah. uh, I, would, I wouldn't I would suggest it to beginners. But of <laughs> course, if you have some uh, six months or uh, yeah. one year of... Uh, yeah, it's like a quite experience. complex one. Where yeah, very complex. The right. DevOpsified 2 project, because you have... Yeah end to end things like yeah, right, right from the domain to uh, all the things exactly. that is required typically yeah, exactly. how companies work yeah. right okay so, uh, yeah and see one question that usually freshers have is to what extent they need to learn things okay usually yeah. i get questions from people abhishek how much kubernetes knowledge is required should i learn right. everything that is on your channel where to stop right. so what is your take on this like where does a fresher has to start and right. to what extent do they have to learn yeah uh, so i think uh, when i got into devops i uh, understood one thing that hmm. if uh, if you spend certain amount of time in devops you will realize that you know nothing <laughs> right yeah. so i think it differs from person to person but yeah. personally i believe that uh, you know your fundamental should be strong okay. firstly mm. then uh, pick any tool or pick any technology you can explore the documentation of that mm. and uh, yeah so i think uh, from uh, the freshers perspective at mm. least intermediate level of uh, knowledge would be uh, what i believe would be mm. sufficient so yeah so you are saying that each and every concept that you learn, at least yeah. go with the intermediate knowledge and then move to the next yeah. one. Exactly. And uh, of course, hands-on is very important. So, mm. you know, just knowing all the terms and uh, like the main words is not enough. Yeah. As long, like you need to get your hands dirty on these tools. And uh, yeah, right. Do as many projects as possible, right? Exactly, exactly. And I think as a fresher, you would get enough time. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah. Uh, if and, you spend uh, that time on cloud, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So uh, you can have uh, like only two or three projects on your resume, but mm. I would still highly suggest that you build at a uh, on your personal level at least twenty to twenty five projects which are you know related to your domain. So mm. you know those two projects they can be only the as you uh, as you have that end to end DevOps thing. Mm. So those projects can be on your resume, but uh, uh, you know you need you need to have other projects as well. Yeah, that is basically for your understanding, right? It can yeah, be like exactly. whenever you are learning shell scripting, do one two projects on shell scripting. When right. you are learning Jenkins, build some CI CD pipeline on Jenkins, which is a project yeah. for you, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Got it. And like, can you explain the roadmap? Uh, in your case, as a fresher, yeah. what roadmap yeah. did you follow? Right from where did you start learning DevOps, and what are the okay. things that you have learned at a high yeah. level? Yeah. So as I said, I started with Google Cloud. And uh, so I got to know many of the services and uh, like uh, I also got to know about Kubernetes thing. Mm. So from there I started, uh, you know, exploring cloud. But then I got, uh, realized that uh, AWS, you know, it is used in most of the organizations. So mm. I need to also have AWS on my resume. So I started uh, like uh, picking, like you just need to pick one service. Mm. You have to go through the documentation and then, you know, explore it on AWS. And then once you do that, you can... Uh, just skip to the next one. So I used to do this. Then uh, for the DevOps thing, I think uh, the main tools would be Docker, Kubernetes, uh, Ansible, Terraform. And uh, for the CI CD part, uh, people criticize Jenkins a lot because uh, it is <laughs> you know one of the legacy tools, but I would still mm. suggest to anyone who is getting into this to mm. uh, start with Jenkins and then maybe move to GitHub Actions, GitLab C, I think, as yes. I did. And uh, for IAC thing, uh, Terraform is uh, like the most widely used tool. So mm. this would be uh, my suggestion. And uh, also I would like to suggest that, uh, you, you, you know, you can go through for uh, one certification. It mm. can be any associate level certification in cloud. 
uh so uh, it's not like uh, if you have a certification it is like going to guarantee you a job yeah. but at least it adds uh, something to your resume and the you know the interviewer gets to know that yes he has done something and he has knowledge about this so i would suggest this and if you if you're active in the communities i think you can get that free voucher for the certifications yeah yeah right yeah did you did you get one in your i case? got a discount voucher for okay. uh, google clouds uh, associate cloud engineer yeah at least you would get discount or in yeah. some good cases you might also get a, a free certification voucher as well yeah, yeah. exactly yeah so okay. that is one uh, i would say advantage of being in communities that you yeah. get to at least have early access or if not then you have uh, discounts and if you might be very lucky then you might also get a free voucher for that yeah 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 so uh, akhilesh now let me ask you a question uh, you have worked in the internship role now yeah. you are working in the full time role so yeah. what do you think like can a fresher uh, i mean can a devops engineer as a fresher manage yeah. the work uh, is it difficult is it too hectic or do you think like by doing some uh, extra effort fresher yeah. can manage in this role uh, definitely i think uh, you can manage this it's not like uh, some rocket science or something uh, so but uh, of course my internship which i did for 6 months it did help me a lot and mm-hmm. i believe that uh, you know before getting into full full time try to get an internship mm-hmm. or uh, if you uh, if you are finding it uh, difficult to get an internship so you can practice at your own level mm-hmm. you know like spend at least 7 to 8 hours every day on any tool or any uh, methodology so uh, it's not that difficult i would say but uh, there will be challenges and uh, i believe that uh if there are no challenges then <coughs> like it's it's of no use from 7 to 8 hours working on the i mean sorry not working 7 to 8 hours uh, spending time on gaming to 7 yeah. to 8 hours working on that yeah. google cloud how did you right. feel i mean first year you were completely into gaming second year you right. started into this cloud computing yeah. so how did right. you feel that <laughs> so i couldn't believe myself that uh, uh-huh. i could actually do this but uh, like uh, uh, at the end of my first year i realized that uh, you know i have like wasted one year and uh, like i need to do something so that was my point where you know one uh, any person would like change his life so i think that way uh, i would think thank you so much akhilesh it was it was very inspiring and uh, i would also share your linkedin profile in the description so yep, anyone who is interested like there are a lot of freshers right on the channel yeah. so they might take you as an inspiration reach out to you so please try right. to help them definitely definitely thanks akilesh see you yeah. in some other podcast where yes. let's let's discuss more once you gain the experience uh, real time right. right definitely thanks Th- thanks abhishek this was fun